pretty good. <laughs> wow, you get he's just he's just slaughtering today. He's, yeah, he's slaying. <laughs> he's killing this table. He's just abs I've never I've never seen him in such good form. <laughs> Here he is. Mike's the quietest guy at the table. Like the voice of poker hasn't said a word. Yevgeny Timoshenko has one point. He's been hammered this championship, and here he is with a big smile on his face, just, well, here just we go. destroying this table. So Herman's raised again. And 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 just uh, curious, that that call by Mike. Would you have preferred a three bet because of how tight he's been and because of how loose Andrew's been? Yeah, or especially with the stack size. It's just just three bet or fold. With in in especially the situation where he's trying to. Get up the, the point ladder here. I, I mean, Sexton's pr he's probably had a plan to to, to 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 make plays on a lot of flops that he misses and that sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, but, but still, right? At this at this point, you can just just three bet uh, if if he, you know, just just three bet. Give yourself an extra chance of winning the pot. And now, what is the chance that Mizzy is is squeezing here with nothing? We know he's I know what he's got, but would it have made any sense? No, I don't I don't think so. With Andrew's not really got too much of a care, and he would like to see a pot between Andrew and Mike. So he's not he's not dissuade the action. And Sexton's called here, I think, partly because he feels like he has to play pots against wow. Mizzy. And wow. now I what? mean, I don't like the call, but if he could see his hand, he definitely would call against Ace King. And now things are going to get a bit a bit messy. They both flopped a draw. Mike's played his draws aggressively. Yeah. It won't be any different. And there's here. no reason to, to not do that here. All right. And Mizzy, of course, just delighted to get just to get it in. Yeah. I mean, I mean this, it is, this is a really key pot here for the for the whole tournament. It is M Mizzy's. He's, he wants to know how much Mike is playing. The answer is going to be that Mizzy has got about 100k more. But it's like 300 versus 400. So, is there any chance that Mizzy should practice pot control? He doesn't know what no, sex it has. Got a, you got to bet. You when you free bet with Ace King suited, you flop the flush call. You, there's right. no, you're not thinking about right. keeping you, the pot small. No, you just have to go with this. He, and he's actually quite a massive favorite if the money goes in here, right? Yeah, I mean, if you could see the hand, you'd be delighted. And I think because of this situation, Mike might just call here. And yeah, for sure he does. He doesn't want to have to get it all in here. Because of what situation? Because, because of the, the, the fact that Sorrell's three bet rather than just a, you ah. know, a standard raise, you know. <coughs> he might have an overpay. Wow. They well, both make the draw. Yeah, but it's over then. I mean, Mike, wow. there's no way Mike can get away from this. No, I mean he's got to hope somehow it doesn't go on the turn and the spade comes on the river or, or something. I but mean. Mike actually, Mike has to want to. If Mike doesn't want to get it all in right now, he's not a poker player. Yeah, and he's gonna. He looks like he's gonna lead here. Yeah, I mean. He, yeah, I mean he's know. only losing a flush, and how can Sarah have a flush? He's right. the three better pre, right? Yeah. I'd like to see him lead here because Sarah will be checking back a lot of a lot of hands once that spade comes in. And Mike knows and that. Mike knows that, which is why. There you go. He's reaching for chips. He's gonna bet. He's now gonna the question is, what does Sarah do? Does he? You know, uh, does he raise, hoping that Mike's got a made hand like he has? What else would Mike be betting here? Well, say Mike might have jacks with know, a queen of spades. Yeah, exactly that. You know, queen jack with queen of spades, jack ten with ten of spades. But what if Sorrell had the ace king with one spade? Well, he, what, he, what would Mike think he would do? Or no, no, he well, do? Uh, he would. He would be shoving. Yeah, I mean. But would he? I mean, Mike looks pretty strong here, which is another case of maybe Sorrell would just raise because he thinks Mike isn't folding. I think it'd be a really tough spot if Sorrell just had one spade in his hand. I mean, Mike looks like he might have a flush. If you weren't sat there holding the ace-king of spades, you'd be willing to believe this guy has the nut flush. I'm willing to believe he has the nut flush. <laughs> <laughs> Even though you can see he's got the 10 of diamonds. And, uh, yeah, brilliant. He's called. Yeah, it's, this it's is it. right unless, a, unless a spade comes, right. Mike's dream is over. Let's see a spade. Mike thinks he's ahead. Yeah, Mike's Mike, Mike, it. Mike's Mike. thinking no spade, no spade, but what he needs to see is a spade. Well, that's a bad card for Mike, in the fact that he thinks he might lose some action. But at no point does he think he's uh, he's behind now. This is this is horribly unlucky. It is, and Sexton's played great. He had he had to take some chances, uh, as far as like gamble a little bit with hands, find flops against the right kind of guys, and uh, he's been cooler. Yeah, made a great. I mean, this this hand, I mean. Pre-flop play is questionable, but now, wow, well, he's going to absolutely throw up when he gets raised. Here. I mean, when Mizzy moves in here, it could be a king queen, um, but he, he Mike can't fold anyway. One hundred five thousand seat one all in. <laughs> and and Mizzy's, I think Mizzy's announced all in. I think Mizzy's announced all in. Yeah. And, and now, look, Mike's shaking his head. He knows. He knows this is ridiculous. He, he knows Sorrell's not doing this as a bluff, and he's not doing just an eight. 
you know, if he thinks long enough and hard enough about it, it might fold. I mean, but, but it's, be... it's one of these spots where you know you should fold, but you're so sick if you're wrong that you never end up folding. It's so similar to the two, the two pots, not similar, but where he's yeah, stuck he's... here on the river, they've raised them all in, and now the pot's so big. This is the story of his Premier League. This you know, is the he's story just, of his Premier League. He's just been... He, uh, he just sat here scratching his head, not knowing what's going on. And the, the the irony of the whole thing is that you know Mike has probably over the course of his poker career been been one of the guys who can make bigger folds than anybody else at the table at any time. And I'll tell you the thing greeting him here is this pot's going to Sorrell. Yeah. That's the thing that's really hurting him. Right. And, and because of that, I mean, like, you know, if he folds here, he has to beat. Yeah, I mean, he's yeah, he has to somehow come back from no chips. It's so hard. I mean, that turn card was brutal. He knows what Sorrell's got. He doesn't even think it's a straight anymore. He knows it's no, a flush. Yeah, he knows he's, he's got the flush. He knows he's got the flush, but <laughs> will he fold? I mean, oh. He has to move all them out of flush here. No way you think I can fold this. You find that good to raise it without a flush here, you ought to win this pot. Oh, wow. Look, so here we go. Go on. I made a straight on the turn. Wow. wow. What a fold. Go what on, Mike fold. Sexton. Go on, Mike Sexton. Wow. Uh, how, do you, how do you not have heartstrings pulled now? This guy. If, there can't be, if Mike wins this, there won't be a dry eye in the house. This guy. Yeah, it's just fantastic. <laughs>